Hello, I am coming at you from, ow, I just got bit by something. The Post Oak Bend Cemetery in a place called Post Oak Bend, Texas. Now, I've actually been out here before and um, I can't stay out here as long as I did last time because it is way more overgrown than it was and we've had some storms in the area you can see we've got fallen crosses but i decided to come here today and tell the story of this cemetery so um today's june 1st it is the anniversary of the murder of george floyd so i decided to come out here and sort of dedicate this I don't know, wandering tour, I guess you could say, to his memory and Sinkin and the memory of all the other African Americans who have been put through hell. And as you can see, look, this was a cross. As you can see, they've been forgotten. And um, when I first came out here, it was about a year ago I did the did a video where I explored my new town and I did the Mig Deer book freakout tag. I didn't know much about this cemetery, but I did some research. So when I got done um, when I got done exploring my new town, I kinda like to hang out in cemeteries. I find that you can really find out a lot about a place from its dead and the state of the cemetery is so much worse than it was a year ago and it is quite the punch in the gut to see it like this um, so what I was thinking last time is that maybe this was a cemetery for enslaved people. Well, it's not, but it's pretty darn close. It is a Jim Crow era African American cemetery, what would have been called a colored cemetery back in the day. There are a few families buried out here. There are many stillborn babies. Um, and just to put into perspective how racist people were during this era, they didn't even want African Americans buried in the same cemetery as their family members. And that to me is just absolutely wild. I'm not being disrespectful trotting upon these graves but there's just no path. So I thought I would come out here. This is post Oak Bend, Texas. And after I came out here the first time, I did a lot of research about this cemetery. And I found some cool stuff out. Cool slash sad. I really connected to it because I found out, and I'm sure she's here somewhere, that there's a 16-year-old girl who essentially died of a sinus infection. She, um, I'll put her name up on the screen. She had a sinus infection, developed septicemia, and passed away. I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to read some of the names of the people in this cemetery. Um, just to remember them. So William Anderson, he lived from 1873 to 1911. Leroy Bassett, this is the newest grave, 1960 to 2011. Pink, Pink Bishop, 1902 to 1948. Charlie Busby, 1884 to 1904. Maudie Busby, 1889 to 1905. John Coleman, unknown to 1958. M.B. Edmund, July 1927 to May 1932, 
This is a little boy who drowned. Aubra Ella Essieri, 1905 to 1917. Jimmy Essieri, 1920, uh, stillborn, 9 April 1923 to 9 April 1923. Jordan Flowers, um, Christmas Day, 1824 to 5 January 1918. Wonder if he died of the flu. Edgar Floyd, 1934 to 1935. Oster Green, 1894 to 1925. Jim Greer, birth and death dates unknown. Florence Hubbard, 1872 to 1934. Stillborn Baby, 1921, unnamed. Dick Jennings, 1913 to 1932. This was a young man who was stabbed in the neck on the railroad tracks. James Jack Jennings Seniors, 1881 to 1941. Lula Jennings, 1884 to 1922. Nora Jennings, 1910 to 1917. Sherbeen Jennings, 1912 to 1932. Elizabeth Johnson, 1906 to 1932. Richard Bud Johnson, 19, oh wait, no, not 19. Bud Johnson, 1866 to 1904. Infant daughter Kent, 1930, stillborn. HGL, I think that is this tombstone over here. Let's go find HGL. I see his cross has fallen down too. His, her, I don't know. HGL, 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 Vernell Land, one, not even, yeah, baby, another baby, 1929 to 1930, Abby Mack, 1915 to 1931, Henry McCullough, 1876 to 1916, Agnes, 1945, Agnes Quinney, Mick Quinney, 19, shoot, I'm getting eaten up, 18, 45 to unknown, Ben McQuinney, 1840 to 1922, Lucy James Monroe, that's the tombstone over there, it's actually marked, 1893 to 1939, Will Monroe, 1895 to 1965, Ellis Monroe, June 1891 to unknown, Ellie Pickings, Pipkins, 1927 to 1933, Pearlie May Red. 1915 to 1916, Martha Reynolds, 1897, lived one day, 1897 to 1897, January 23rd to January 24th, Jesse Rowland, 1888 to 1899, Henry Simpson, 1878 to 1934, Missouri Simpson, 1885 to 1929, Sadie Simpson, 1910 to 1941, W.C. Smith, 1926 to 1929, Sylvia Simpson, 1852 to 1932, Basile Steele, 1869 to 1971, Georgia Steele, 1934 to 1940. I'm getting bitten. Robert Sterling Jr., 1931 to 1936. Lenny Thedford, there's a car, and mosquitoes. Lenny Thedford, 1854 to 1902. Infant son Wilcock, stillborn. Vinnie Wilcock, 1905 to 1979. Thomas Wilcock, 1925 to 1988. Mary Frances Wilcock, 1932 to 2008. Davis Norris Wilcots, 1932, or 1946 to 47. So those are the named, oh, there's another cross that's fallen down. Those are the named, another one. 
people who are buried here. I am getting eaten up by bugs. So I gotta go. It's just really sad. And as someone who is a white American, I can't help but sort of feel responsible for this kind of racism. You know, I'm a descendant of a Confederate soldier. My hometown has Confederate monuments. But this is all the African Americans get. So let that sink in. A good Samaritan just stopped by to ask me if I was okay. She said she saw me up there, she saw my car, and I just said, yeah, you know, I was looking at the cemetery. Um, and I told her a little bit of history about the cemetery. She said she grew up in central Indiana and her uh, grandmother was really into genealogy. So she spent her spring breaks and summers up in the cemetery. And if she's stopping by, she's definitely from this area. So she didn't even know there was a cemetery right there. Um, so talk about forgotten history. Um, hopefully the Confederate monument comes down in my hometown really soon. This woman was white as well. She said it's really sad, but it's our history and we need to remember it. We don't need to remember the Confederates. We need to remember these people. So, um, thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I've got to go home and treat some of the bites I just got. Um, I still feel pretty guilty leaving because of bugs after all these people went through. So, um... God bless America.